we are going to be creating a nice shingle driveway and to stop the shingles spilling out over the path as the cars go up and down we're going to put some edging stones in so the first thing we're going to do is look at our video on how to mix concrete in a wheelbarrow and they're going to excavate a trench in this case about eight inches wide six inches deep um, allowing four inches behind the edging stone a couple of inches in front and two inches underneath the edging stone for a bed Using our level, we're going to follow the contours of the path to string a line on the back edge of the edging stone, the, the straight edge as opposed to the rounding edge. And then our concrete's going to go in the base a couple of inches, level it out with a gauging trowel and drop the edging stones in one at a time. Use a lump hammer to level them up and get down to the line so that we've got a nice straight line all the way down the edging stones. Repeat that for stone after stone, making sure we've got a nice bed and we have to bash the edging stone down a little into the concrete so that we can get a nice set. When we've finished the line of edgings, we're going to go up in this case on an angle, so see our video on using a disc cutter to see how we cut that angle. And then we're going to back the edging stone up with, in this case, four inches of haunching, concrete pushed into the edging and down at an angle using a polyurethane float. Do that all along the edging stones and you'll see that they're backed up nicely. Do the same thing between your paving or pavement or your front edge. Ram the concrete in nice and firmly and you'll see we get a lovely finished uh, edge. And there's the shingle in place with the edging stones holding it back. If you want advance notice of any DIY Doctor videos, please subscribe and you'll also get the opportunity to win some fantastic prizes. We hope you've enjoyed.